Hi everybody, it's Carol here bringing you another video. This new camera I've got, it, well it's my phone, I have to make sure the projects are up here whereas before I could work down here. So I'm sorry if I go out of focus occasionally. I'm so excited, I had this idea that I wanted to gift um, a bar of chocolate and a scratch card. I tend to always give people scratch cards at Christmas, my loved ones in with their presents and last year I didn't and last year they were not happy so this year I've gone and bought them a scratch card each and I thought I would make them one of these each and I know this is quite a lot of court twine but I really like the effect of it so no peeking and then you open it La la, can you see it? Yes. So, scratch card. Obviously, if you buy the smaller scratch cards, I only ever buy these at Christmas. Um, you can make a smaller one here. And the bar of chocolate is one that I don't like, so I don't eat it. Um, I like dairy milk and I like fruit and nut, but I don't like the nut one for some weird reason. So, that goes over, that goes tucks in, and that goes round. How cool is it? I love it and I love it the fact that I've made it. I've created it. I haven't seen another one. I'm sure there is one out there. It's not perfect, but it's it is lovely. I love it. I've just seen that. But do you know what? I don't care. That fits in there. That goes over and it makes that lovely and I love it. So I'm hoping you do too. I'm going to make a black and white one. So you need, I've cut everything out already. For the base, you need, I've used this black and white and I was going to use all the, um, the music notes but I can't like that actually. This piece is 12 inches by eight and a quarter. And the, this piece is for the scratch card that's four and a half by five and a half and then this is the chocolate cover and that's 10 inches by four and you just need to score a little bit so let's bring that in extend that a bit right so this one i've got my notes here hang on the 12 by eight and a quarter is i'm going to score it at four and a half to the four and a half and because this is quite thin dsp you don't have to be too hard on your scoring then i give it a half an inch lips that's five then i add another four and a half so that's nine and a half oh see i'm hoping that hasn't ripped no that's fine um so you've got to judge between going too gentle or too rough so that's that piece. I'm going to do all the scoring while I'm here. You don't need to score the um, gift card, the scratch card, because you're just going to glue that down. The This chocolate piece, you need to score it at half an inch and one inch. So, can I bring it? No, you won't see. If I do it here. Right, here is one inch and there's half. So it's much easier to put your card along there, go to half an inch, score, then take it to one inch and score. Now that's where my chocolate's going in. So I don't score this piece, this bit here. I just score three sides. So go to half inch and then go to one inch. Do the same on the last little side. So basically you're doing the two sides and the bottom. There you go. Try to be as gentle as possible. Sometimes you're so gentle that you can't actually um, see where you've scored. Can't feel it. I might have to do that one again. So I can feel those. They're done. Can't feel that. You see, it's not enough. So it's because I'm being too gentle. But then I don't want to be too rough either. Right, let's try it again. I'm quiet when I did it. 
There you go. With card, you can obviously be more robust, but with this, you can't. There you go. Is that right? Seems to be going down. Oh, there you go. Right, that's the chocolate cover. Now the chocolate cover you're going to cut. So now, I don't think you can see, you've got four little squares where you've done all the scoring. What you need to do is go up and up. And then where this one ends, you're gonna cut that one away, cut that one away and notch that one. Okay, let's do it again. So, cut, cut, and you're cutting all of that one, that, just leaving one square, there we go. And the reason for that is when you put this in there and put that over, that's where your chocolate is going. That's your little case for your chocolate when you've glued it down. It's dead cool. Love it. Right, this one then, it's just, I think I'm gonna actually use that flowery bit. Right, you've gotta find, there they are, there's one. There's two. And you've got another one. Sometimes it's easier to feel it and then you can do it. Right. So that's where your um, scratch card's going. That's where your chocolate's going. Okay. Right. We'll put the scratch card in. What we're doing, that is exactly the same size as that. And I'll show you why I did that. I'm using, actually, I'm going to use Tombow this time. I used, um, make sure you've got the, I used um, very, very thin red tape last time. You're only putting it around because you. this scratch card I've got, it's not, um, it just fits. So you're putting that on there. You want it to fit there. But you also, and down the bottom, but you also, and then you want to fold it so that you can open, so you know you can open it. And what that did, it gave it a little lip here, look, it's not quite flush, so that's quite good. Because the top, um, no, the scratch card, you want it to fit in and out, not too snugly. Snugly, is that a word? Right, just holding that because it's Tombow. There you go. And then the scratch card. I've actually packaged everyone's up, so I'll use the same one. And I only dare buy one bar of chocolate because I would eat it. So that fits in there. There you go. Okay, now for the chocolate bar bit. Again, I use Tombow just so because you can wiggle with it. So put it down and there you go. Now you are going to get a tiny weeny bit messy, and you do need your bone fork. Right, put that in there like that and decide is that going over like that again bring it in and over and what I did was laid it down and kind of held it just for a second see if it's not because it's got nothing to hold on to there you go right okay and then what I did, you've got, I've got it all over me, but that's okay. I bought this in. You've got the lip, so you want it 
blush up to this lip ish I've left about two millimeters and then you want to look at it and you want it moving slightly down and then when you're happy it's all lined up this is why we use Tombow get your bone folder in and just make sure it's all down and it's glued there you go hands are sticky I'm just going to get baby wipe and just wipe them for a bit and then I just took the one inch circle punch I eyeballed it you can do it um, you can measure it and just cut out a little lip there Chocolate fits in nicely. Put that over, put that down. Oh, I love it. Now you could round your corners if you want to, but I don't want to. So what I used for the other one was I used no peeking in this Merry Little Label set. Um, so I'm gonna use that again. Find some white card you um, and because it's black and white I'm going to use my memento trying to make sure this will stay Then we've got a punch, label punch, put that in there. Now, because I can't remember all these names, under, I made this. So this is everyday label punch, because I can't remember all the names at the minute. It seems to have disappeared out of my head. So, there you go. There's that one. Oh, and then what I did under it, because this was a white, green and red card, I did a red one look. So I might do a black one if I can find some black scrap. What I do is I've got a bag, I've got some plastic wallets and I keep scraps for this very reason because I keep them in different colours. So that when I need a piece of card like that, I haven't got to open a, a new A4 sheet. Um, and I just, I find that so useful. It really is. Um, it really helps me. So I'm just going to put a bit on there. I know some people don't keep all this. I don't keep all my scraps, but I do keep quite a few. And you can lay, line that up like that. That can then be glued to the front. Like that. No peeking. And then what I'll do is I'll get half inch, one inch, get some more white. This was the piece I was supposed to use, you see. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is one inch white and a half inch don't know if we'd still do the half inch but i kept mine half inch silver then what you want to do you want to use a dimensional on that one um, and that's where you put all your thread oh, sticking to me because of the got to have some sparkle when I showed it my husband he said I like it all but I don't understand why you've got a, a silver uh, dot I said because it's Christmas and you need some sparkle so you can't not have sparkle what's wrong with you right so we're just going to put that there 
And then I've got some white, Whisper White Baker's Twine. And all I did was I wrapped it around a few times to get it in there to stick like that. Then I wrapped it. Did it again. Okay, you get so much on here that it's okay to be generous. I'm not going to upset you by using it all like it is when you use the DSP. But I just thought I need to use my DSP, otherwise, like every year. I'm going to end up with loads of it left. I don't know what to do with it. And then I have to give, I end up giving it away. So, right. Love it. I hope you like my projects. That's the way you can give a chocolate bar and a scratch card to somebody that you love. Have a lovely Christmas, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye.